Hello and thanks for joining us on TVC Midday News. We begin with the story that the Nigeria Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress have suspended the planned nationwide strike over fuel subsidy removal. This was part of the resolutions reached at a meeting between organized labor and the federal government at the presidential villa on Monday night. The unions also agreed to continue the ongoing engagements with the federal government and secure closure on the resolutions reached, some of which include the establishment of a joint committee to review the proposal of any wage increase and establish a framework and timeless, uh, timeliness for implementation. There is also a plan to review the World Bank Finance Cash Transfer Scheme and propose inclusion of low-income earners in the program. They also resolved to revive the CNG conversation conversion programs earlier agreed with labor centers in 2021 and work out detailed implementation and timing. The labor centers and the federal government will now meet on the 19th of June to agree on an implementation framework. The Speaker of the House of Representatives and newly appointed Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Bajabi Amila, disclosed the outcome of the meeting to State House correspondents. The federal government, the TUC and the NLC to revive the CNG conversion program earlier I agreed with labor centers in 2021 and work out detailed implementation and timing. Four, the labor centers and the federal government to review issues in great effective delivery in the education sector and propose solutions for implementation. Five, the labor centers and the federal government to review and establish the framework for completion of the rehabilitation of the nation's refineries. Six, the federal government is to provide a framework for the maintenance of roads and the expansion of rail networks across the country. We will just put some agreements together and uh, the document is what was just read to you a few, few minutes ago. And uh, we from, from Labour, all we want to encourage government is to take this seriously because this government is just coming in. Uh, this may be the first agreement that is being signed by by this government that has been operated on May 29 by Tinubu, uh, President Tinubu's administration. So I, I want us to, to commit uh, to get these issues resolved as soon as possible. 